Hey, what's going on guys? Abdurrahsan here from AndroidExtremist.com and this video I'm going to show you how to install Pac-Man ROM on your Galaxy Note 2. Now this is the latest updated version and uh, I'm going to link all the versions of Pac-Man ROM for your different models of Note 2 in the description so make sure you go ahead and check out the description of this video. Let's go ahead and get to flashing. Now you need to have recruited Actually, you don't need to be rooted, but you need to have custom recovery installed like I have TWRP recovery. So boot into your custom recovery. If you don't know how to boot into custom recovery, go ahead and download an application called Quick Boot from your Play Store. And why that? Just give Super SU permission and hit Reboot Recovery and you'll be right here. Now we're going to go ahead and back up everything. Once you back up, we're going to wipe. If you don't know how to back up your phone, there is a video on how to back up your phone as well where you're gonna find the files so make sure you check out the links where you're gonna find the files there you're gonna also find all the application that you're gonna use to back up your current setup we need to back up because if anything goes wrong with your setup you can always go ahead and restore the previous setup you got now we're going to go ahead and navigate to your files where you stored so we're going to go to actually I think I came out all the way we go download and right here is T0 LTE Pac-Man ROM so that's for LTE note 2 and as you can see really awesome script that was written by the developer of Pac-Man ROM it said says Pac-Man uh, it comes from Pioneer Android, AOKP, and Sanajamar, and first initial of all three names of the ROMs, and that's why it creates Pac and Pac-Man. Who doesn't love Pac-Man game? And that's a really awesome name. We are going to also flash the Google application. I don't have it here, so I'm gonna actually go to install up and go to external SD card. Nope. Right here, external SD card. Go to download. Choose any of the gaps. This is inverted gap Google application which saves battery on Samsung uh, LCD or LSP or whatever you call those display that Samsung uses. If you use inverted Google application, you get really awesome battery life. So if you want this, I will have a link on this as well. If I remember, if not, then you will have regular Google application. I also did wipe of cache and delu cache once that is done i'm going to reboot system so tap on that and uh please request if i forget to uh, uh include the inverted google application link so you find those because as i said before your battery life will be improved a lot and this rom comes with sanajima 10.1 uh the newest boot animation and uh yeah they used to have their own boot animation but i don't know what happened and this is the Sanon 10.1 boot animation. Now, depending on what version of the ROM you're flashing on your phone, you might find different stuff because this is the one intended for AT&T, Rogers, Bell, Telus, Galaxy Note 2. Uh, this is what you're going to see. For T-Mobile, there might be different developer and you might see different stuff, but different boot animation, different layout, different launcher and all that different properties that comes with ROM. So make sure you know what are you doing and uh, don't get confused with seeing a different uh, UI or boot animation when you flash ROM it's gonna be still a Pac-Man ROM so we're gonna wait until this phone boots up and since this phone has a uh, soft keys right here whenever it lights up you're gonna know that your phone is not in boot loop and your phone is booting up healthy uh, if we if your those lights doesn't come up for like 10 minutes then you know you are in boot loop and you might have to go ahead and flash aosp kernel or reflash the rom with aosp kernel because some people who's coming from stack to aosp roms they might uh face the issue where your kernel is not included in rom and that's why your phone will not boot up now i'm coming from aosp rom to aosp rom i had root box before and now uh, I'm flashing this Pac-Man ROM, so I s still don't have any issues, but we we will still 
wait until it finishes and we'll see in the meanwhile what happens and as you can see the phone booted up without turning on this light so that might happen before i used to flash roms those lights used to come on and then the phone would boot up but now as you can see right there it just booted up and uh this is it guys this was just a how to video all the files again is linked in the description feel free to subscribe because you're gonna have a lot more videos like this coming up full reviews of this rom is coming up because i did been using this rom for quite a while and i'm just gonna start doing a review so subscribe uh hit me up with any question you got and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching guys